Tropical Cyclone Fabienne has formed yesterday and now has strengthened into a Category 1 Tropical Cyclone and, well, it's positioned 5.6 degrees south, 79.2 degrees east and it's expected to become a major tropical cyclone, possibly a Category 3 or stronger, making it, uh, possibly making it as one of the strongest late season tropical cyclones ever in the southwest Indian Ocean. But currently, Fabienne has sustained winds of 75 miles per hour, 978 millibars on its center, moving to the west southwest at 8 miles per hour. That's latest at 9 hours uh, local time of Diego Garcia Island, 7 hours in Mauritius, which is 3 hours UTC on May the 15th. And the gale force winds, uh, tropical storm force winds extending. Uh, 90 nautical miles from the southwest, southeastern and northeastern quadrant of Fabienne, 70 nautical miles from the southwestern quadrant and 50 nautical miles from the northwestern quadrant, not affecting any kind of land and it's really much unlikely that it will occur ever. And about the, the distance from different locations, Fabienne is located, well, Diego Garcia is located uh, about 770 kilometers east northeast uh, of Fabienne, 2,230 2, kilometers to the northeast, uh, that's in Port Mathurin, 2,860 kilometers northeast uh, of Port Louis. And St. Denis, more than 3,000 kilometers to the northeast. That's in Reunion. No cyclone warnings and watches or storm surge in effect right now, which is good news as well. And about the different agencies' estimates, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center believe that it's an 85, an 85 miles per hour sustained wind tropical cyclone. And Meteor France, they believe, is a tropical storm still, 70 miles per hour sustained winds and 413, as we believe, is a 75 miles per hour sustained wind tropical cyclone. And about the future of this system, it's expected to intensify rather quickly and possibly picking as a category 3, a mid-range category 3 tropical cyclone by May 17th, that's in the next two days but it could be actually more stronger than it's expected, so let's see what happens. And then weakening slightly, but remaining tropical cyclone status, so there's there will be Fabian for the next uh, three to four days, so that's, that's going to be interesting to see for this system, a really late season system. 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, so of course the sea surface temperatures are warm for Fabian, so it's good for the system to still intensify and about the wind uh, extension it's going to remain quite compact and more than 100 knots of winds at some points of this tropical cyclone but really really small areas of this kind of winds practically remaining at the center of the system but the rain are going to be possibly the main problem for Diego Garcia possibly re uh, receiving two to four inches depending on on how close Fabian moves uh, to, uh, to Diego Garcia and of course some high waves and storm surge could possibly occur on Diego Garcia on the next two days and about different models prediction on Fabian's intensity some of them are predicting that it, predicting that it's going to intensify into a category 4 uh, tropical cyclone possibly really a low end category 4 or high end category 3 tropical cyclone regardless of that Fabian is going to be really strong and possibly the strongest tropical cyclone late season since 1991 so there's quite some years that actually that happened 
and the wind shear is expected to remain low but then increasing slightly in the next days so that's why the, uh, that's going to be the main reason of why Fabien possibly will weaken slightly after it after after it peaks on the next two days the sea surface temp the sea surface temperature sorry are going to decrease slightly as well but the humidity it's going to remain stable so dry air is not expected on Fabien's path so far and this is the current aspect the current looking of this tropical cyclone intensifying quickly looking really good cloud tops of minus 80 or more in on its center so this is a clear sign of a rapidly intensifying cyclone and these floaters you can find them on Force 13's website so please check it out and enjoy all the floaters and new tools that we have in our website and well stay tuned for more youtube videos and updates that we will have in the next days that's all for now